I definitely should have had the camera on this whole time because I we've had this tarp down for since we dug up the potatoes July maybe late late July early August can't remember pulled back a corner to see how it was doing it's doing great but there was a snake and it just looked at me like um I've been found and then it just slowly slithered away now I'm not scared of snakes really I don't really want them to touch me but I'm fine if they're over there doing their own thing um, but I'm sure there's gonna be lots of snakes under here because they're gonna like the warm but I think what my plan is is to just use some of this tarped area we'll see So you can see this area was looked like this, okay? So we've gone from this to this. I love using a tarp. Um, it does the work for you as long as you have some time to spare. If you're on a time crunch, it doesn't work. But I think what I'm gonna do is just clear the beds. You can see all of this weed seed, and yes, it's my fault, and I know it is. <sighs> this It always gets away from me, you know? But at least it's dead right now, but I'm gonna rake all of it into the walkway and off of the beds and then lay down cardboard and wood chips i don't know if i'll get to that today but i'm for sure gonna plant in this today because it's beautiful i mean look at this loose not compacted we did have potatoes here so it did have things you know rooting in the soil and pushing it this has so much gravel in it i'm not sure but it's still so loose and workable and wonderful. I'm just going to put some fertilizer on top, rake it in, and then we'll be able to plant in this today. All right, I'm back. I got a weed eater for reinforcement because I started to hand pull all these and I don't want to. So um, I'm probably going to regret wearing shorts and flip flops, but you know, that's just how I live. Let's uh, tear these. Okay, I'm done. And I probably got grass and weeds all over my face. Now the goal is to rake all this to the side and lay some cardboard down so that that doesn't happen again. I am back and I've got, this is all the cardboard that I can find so it's just gonna have to be good enough for right now. And then later I will come back with wood chips and I'll put it on there. And then I have two beds uncovered, but I butted up um, the plastic, or I am going to once I'm completely done doing this, button it up right up against um, so that nothing else sprouts in the walkway. And then this walkway in the center, I'll get to eventually, but it's not gonna be right now. And if I wait until I'm done with that, I ain't never gonna do it. So we're just gonna do it as is. Um, and I'm going to put this fertilizer down with no rhyme or reason. I'm just gonna sprinkle it on top and then rake it in. And uh, then we'll get to planting. So earlier this spring, I bought granular fertilizer intending 100% to use it when I was planting and I totally forgot that I had it. And I just found it in the garage. I bought this granular fertilizer through Neversink Farm. It's their blend, but the actual fertilizer company is Seven Springs Farm. And I'm just gonna read you what's in it. Um, it'll be my first time using it. I can definitely smell it's kind of fishy. I honestly kind of like the way it smells, if that's weird. But it's got, um, here's what it looks like. It's feather meal, fish meal, alfalfa meal, kelp meal, biochar, and SOP, whatever that is. I don't know what it is, but um, I like everything that Connor Crickmore does, and so I'm pretty sure that this will be good.
So I've got my granular fertilizer down. I've got the beds raked nice and flat. It's important um, when you go to use the cedar that the beds are like level and as cushiony good as you can get it because that just makes seeding so much easier when it is like that. So I'm gonna go recover my um, cedar that I left outside, oops, and get some seeds put in the ground today. In an effort to keep my lines and my rows really nice and straight, which makes it, in theory, easier to weed. Even though I'm going to be putting these things, I'm going to be putting them real tight together so that hopefully they crowd out the weeds. I'm going to be using a bed gritter. Connor Crickmore from Neversink Farm has this tool that he uses all the time to keep his beds nice and straight and his lines nice and straight and but it's expensive if you buy it online and i'm lucky enough to have one of those dads that um, can do literally anything so he made me this isn't it nice and so i'm gonna line the beds and then i am going to put down i think this whole row is going to be lettuce mix i'm using this mix from johnny's starstruck lettuce mix i think it's got lettuce and kale in it not sure so we'll see the i it's mid-september right now so the only things that i have really have time to plant right now are fast growing varieties so like baby greens baby lettuce spinach radishes i still have time for and arugula those are what i'm going to be planting today because that's what i'm guaranteed um a crop off of and i have been missing salads so i'm really excited for fresh salads but Enough about that, let's get this bed going. I'm having all kinds of technical difficulties today between the cedar. Um, one of the pins fell out of the front wheel, so I've got my... Um, a pair of skinny snips stuck in it so that I can use it for today and I'll take it back and fix it later and then I realized I wasn't recording and then I had to um, I had to seed the lettuce bed twice because I did it the first time and I was like it doesn't look like any seeds laying down because you know lettuce is on the top a family of spiders had taken up residence in the chute that goes that drops the seed down so I had to fish them out evict the spiders that were living inside my cedar from just sheer negligence all season long and but i've got it laid down now is there literally anything better than some fresh lines in a smooth bed i don't for a gardener i don't think so so i'm going to try to record the second bed this second bed i am going to do arugula just regular salad arugula not too much because it can be kind of spicy although you'll find with a lot of things that are not on the spicy side during the heat of the season when you grow them in the cool of spring or fall with a couple frosts on them um, the things inside the plant I can't remember what they're called that that make it kind of spicy or bitter when it gets frosted it concentrates the sugars inside that plant so it's a much sweeter taste like things that are typically earthy like kale and swiss chard and things like that that you really don't eat much of in the summertime or at least i don't um turn so sweet for a green at least in the fall and in the spring so i prefer to just um leave them alone in the summertime when i've got other things to eat and then i'll pick it back up in the fall as for spinach i am going to grow space spinach that seems to be what a lot of the market gardeners um are growing and if you don't know something just copy something somebody else that you think knows what they're doing is doing so that's exactly what i'm doing i'm just copying them and then I've got just some regular like cherry radishes that I'm going to plant too because those are sweeter in the fall or in the cool seasons as well because those sugars concentrate in the root because that's the plant's energy. It's storing its energy in the form of sugars, um, which I'm sorry, they're not going to be able to store it very long because I'm going to eat it because they're delicious. So I'm going to get this bed seeded 
and try to record it better this time. So now I've got everything seeded that I needed to seed today and the last thing, well the second to last step is I'm going to very heavily water this in by hand. Um, it's only two beds, it's not that much, but you want to make sure that not just the top of your soil is wet or um, your seeds won't have enough moisture in the soil to actually germinate and sprout. So I'm going to thoroughly soak this bed uh, right now. Now I've gotten everything, almost. Let me do one more thing. A trick for germinating things when it's still pretty hot outside during the day is to throw a cover on it of some sort. I just used this frost fabric because it was very readily available and it was a large space that I was doing. You could do this at home with a piece of cardboard, with a board, with anything that's just going to hold the moisture underneath um, whatever cover you're using. Just so the top of the soil doesn't dry out because that is going to be the death of direct sowing um, when it's still warm out is that that top of the soil gets a crust on it and then your seeds, especially lettuce and things that are just on the top of the soil, you really want them to stay um, moist, for lack of better words. Today's video was pretty short and sweet. I just wanted to get something out to you guys and show you what I'm doing today and show you that it's not quite too late, um, even in my zone, zone five, to get some green seeds in the ground because I know you guys I know I was literally just in that very spot in my head where like um the season has been hard you know if you're anywhere close to me or lots of places across the country to be honest we've had very little rainfall this year there is like long spells between rain events um lately this summer it's been really this has but just been weird weather and I started this whole thing and it's mostly just me. My husband helps when he can. Um, but really this is my project and y'all I'm just, I was getting real burnt out. But I caught myself on the couch this morning drinking my coffee as I do. Literally two days ago I had thrown in the towel and just been like well it is what it is. The season's almost over. I don't really have time to do anything or energy or motivation. Um, and you can have those days. Have a couple days. Um, have a week. Have two weeks if you'd like. But don't fall completely off the wagon. Have like one hang hand hanging on to the wagon. Because I woke up this morning. There was a crisp in the air. And reality of the season's almost over. Just set in my brain. And I wasn't ready for everything to die when the frost comes. So I went ahead and I planted um, things that won't die when the first frost comes. Um, I'll have them for weeks after the frost, hopefully. Um, but I guess I'm just trying to say the end of the season is hard, but just know that it's the end. So savor it, walk around your garden, pick through the weeds to find the last little bits of your summer garden harvest it. Don't let it rot in the field. Take it inside. I'm sure that there's a lot more food out there than you think there is if your garden's gone to weeds. Believe me, I have tons of weeds. Look behind me. There's weeds everywhere. <laughs> but I'm not going to let that stop me from forgetting why I love this so much. It's so satisfying when you sit down with a plate and everything on your plate is from your farm or if you're not able to be there yet just that one thing is from your farm i remember when i first started i would sit down with food and it would just be like eggs and like kale out of the garden really for like breakfast and i would point it out to everyone at my table that i grew this i love to say i grew this and i grew this and i made sure everybody knew because it, it makes you proud when you work hard and things actually work and the plant 
you know, the seeds sprout and the plant grows and then you get to harvest it and you're like, oh my gosh. It's amazing. Every time it's amazing. I guess all of that to say, you can be unmotivated for a little bit, but find your reason why you do it and keep on a trucking because I'm looking at the edge of my woods right now and I see yellow leaves and you drive down the field or down the road and all the fields are turning gold and I don't know if you're a winter hater like me but that just sets the tone <laughs> so I'm trying to hold on to what little bit of summer I have left but anyway I am going to take my cedar back up to the house because there are some things on there that I that need my attention and I need to fix ASAP but um thank you guys for hanging out with me today on this short little video and if you have skimped on a fall garden like I have plant you some green things in tight little rows that you can harvest as babies time has not run out for the little baby greens yet but we're running the ragged edge so go out there and plant you something anyway thank you guys for watching until next time